cerebral salt wasting syndrome in short we call it CSWS this is a condition of hyponatremia with extreme hypovolemia that means the intravascular volume is reduced as well as even sodium concentration is reduced this is one entity usually seen after head injury or subacnoid hemorrhage or some tumor in the brain now what is the reason what is the pathophysiology behind it this is due to increase ANP secretion ANP is atrial natriuretic peptide and we know it very well this the purpose of this compound is to have natriuresis so in CSWS there is in a appropriate excess secretion of ANPN and that lead to inappropriate excess sodium excretion in the urine okay and that lead to dehydration as well as hyponatremia now what are the clinical features first of all polyuria and due to polyuria patient has polydipsia and mark dehydration as the intravascular volume is reduced the patient has feature of autonomic neuropathy but one of the classical feature which immediately point toward CSWS is excess salt craving this is something a unique feature of this condition okay now one more in very interesting thing CSWS and in which we have hyponatremia we have another entity that is SIADH in this also hyponatremia is there so both the condition the two things are common hyponatremia and both the condition occur in the same setting of head injury subacnoid hemorrhage or some brain tumor now how to differentiate between the two so we'll differentiate like this feature SIADH and CSWS sodium this is hyponatremia hyponatremia this is common in both now urine sodium is increase it may be more than 100 but here it is very very high it may be more than 150 also urine output is normal or slightly reduced but it is highly increased that's why polyuria is a feature that's why dehydration is is too much of there and point to be noted in SIADH hydration is normal or rather it is slightly on the over side of uh, volume so SIADH is so normally we call it as euvolumic in fact it is a state of hypervolumia okay so no dehydration mark dehydration and due to dehydration uric acid level is increased and due to overhydration uric acid is reduced because of uh, hemodilation 
and serum ADH is definitely increased in this condition. It is reduced in this uh, uh, cerebral salt wasting syndrome. Salt craving is not there and it is markedly there. So how to uh, treat? In this case, we give restrict the fluid, but in cerebral salt wasting syndrome, we give excess of salt and water because of patient has marked dehydration is a feature okay so now a brief outline what is happening in these two condition this is the one glass of water it has 100 ml of water and there is 100 milligram of salt 100 milligram of salt is there the concentration is 1 milligram per ml. If I add 100 ml water more, the volume becomes 200. The concentration goes to 0.5 milligram per ml. But still, the amount of salt is same, 100 milligram in the glass. So this is what is happening in SIADH. Excess of water, all of you know that this is the tubule. In the tubule, ADH comes and absorbs pure water from the collecting tubule. Remember, ADH has no role in sodium absorption. So excess of ADH, so main reason of what I told you was, excess of ADH is the reason of this problem. That leads to excess water. That's why when we are treating a case of SIADH, we go for water restriction because if you restrict water sodium level will rise gradually now in this case there is the main problem is excess of a and p excess of a and p atrial net tributary peptide now what happened a and p come from the atria let's if we have one glass of water 100 ml of water and 100 milligram of salt the concentration 0.5 milligram per oh, 1 milligram per ml is 1 milligram per ml now suppose from this glass 40 milligram of salt is removed okay that means the salt uh, oh, say, and and 20 ml of water is reduced if you remove 20 ml of water, the amount of water left is 80 ml. And suppose you remove 60 milligram of salt, the amount of salt left is how much? Is 40 in the glass. Now the concentration is again 0.5. Remember, 40 milligram of salt is there, 80 ml of water is there, concentration is 0.5. But remember, here, volume is also reduced this is what happened in salt cerebral salt wasting syndrome so in this patient so we have to give excess of water and excess of salt and the key word is salt craving so most of the time in cerebral salt wasting syndrome patient may have spontaneous improvement or or you discharge the patient, but still patient goes home and he start uh, taking excess of salt and water. Now, if you find a person who is uh, taking spoon uh, full of salt, it's not the normal thing. We can take sweets, but you can't take uh, table of a spoonful of salt. So whenever you are getting a patient of salt craving with dehydration in a setting of in a setting of a head injury, you think about cerebral salt wasting syndrome. And of course, as I told you, there will be features of autonomic neuropathy. That means postural hypotension will be here. And there will be no postural hypotension. This is an additional thing. But dehydration itself is a good indicator. So give excess salt.